that someone ate it all, and then put back the box, with absolutely nothing in it? Uh, that's the worst. It happened to Earl recently, and he's pretty sure it's his brother's fault. But he's gotta use equivalent fractions to prove it. When Earl woke up this morning, the first thing he did was go grab his favorite cereal. Well, actually, I guess the first thing he really did, was lay in bed for another hour, and read comic books. But once he got hungry, the first thing he did was go find some breakfast. And in Earl's opinion, the best cereal in the whole world is Fruity Feedback Loops. He was already picturing eating his favorite color, when he turned the box upside down and... Nothing. Not a single Fruity Feedback Loop tumbled out of the box. Earl said he only had one big bowl of cereal. Sure, it was about half the box, but he didn't eat the other half of the box, so he isn't the one who left it empty. Meanwhile, his older brother, Tell, said he ate half of the six servings in the box, so it definitely wasn't his fault either. Can you help me figure out who's right? Okay, so here's our problem. Earl said he ate one half of the cereal. His brother, Tell, said he ate the same amount, but he followed the serving sizes. There are six equal servings in the cereal box. Find a fraction that equals one half, and represents how many servings. Out of six, till eight. Oh fooey. You missed that one. We can work on this kind of problem together in directed practice. Don't give up. First, let's figure out how much early eight. This is going to be our original fraction. Which fraction represents how much cereal he ate? Wowie. That was awesome. You're rocking this. Nice work! Let's recap what we did. When you want to find an equivalent fraction, the first thing you do, is write the original fraction. Then, you find the new denominator. Once you know that, you can find the new numerator, by drawing a visual. Finally, you want to check your drawing, and make sure it shows an equivalent fraction. Since both Earl and Tell ate the same amount of cereal, I guess we'll never know who really put back the empty cereal box. This might be one of those things grown-ups call, life's little mysteries. Wow! I am so proud of you. We solved that problem together, and you just rocked it. Now, it's time to dance.